All right, everybody. Now, as I was saying at the end of the f last part, um, basically, after uh, helping Tommy escape from his impending doom, if you will, and thus overall helping the Rangers save the people and defeat Divatox, Ox's monster, I guess apparently the Rangers had done all this had all been done just in the nick of time if you will for the rangers to take part in a ceremony and that ceremony was passing the powers onto a new group of rangers and who this new group of rangers is you might ask why it's none other than tj cassie ashley and carlos now some people might say it's a little ridiculous and a little dumb i mean even then car asked the question what the hell when this happened because you know TJ and Cassie were just introduced in the first within this story within this two-parter Carlos and Ashley of course they might be the exception because they were around a little longer but the reason for this is real simple something that Linkara probably doesn't know about now Linkara did mention the fact that Jason David Frank and Catherine Sutherland want to move on to other projects well, that might be true, but there's also another reason. According to some sources that I read online, apparently, apparently, since the series, the franchise, since all the, since the series, the franchise overall, all, all its ratings was starting to, you know, really decline to the point that the show could be canceled by Fox. One of the things the producers and writers decided to do, without acknowledging or telling the regular cast, I guess, was audition a new group of characters to be the Rangers. Now, the, the cast didn't know about this, from what I understand, from what I've read, until they read it in a newspaper article. Now, I guess things might have worked out fine, maybe a deal or something was negotiated, but still, you know, you know, for them to work the final episodes, the final 19 episodes that they were going to be in, but still, it was kind of disappointing Oining and kind of rude, I guess, in my opinion, I should say, that they didn't have the gall, if you will, to tell the tell the cast, "Hey, look, you know, we've appreciated your work and everything you've done for us, but it's time for us to bring in a new set of Rangers." And that's what they end up doing. But again, from what I've read, a majority of the cast ends up finding this out by reading a newspaper article. But I guess this change does work out fine because apparently the ratings do increase just a little bit because we have a new cast of characters. And of course, one of the things Lynn Kyle brings up is the fact that the reason this happened was because, well, apparently, since the Rangers had graduated out of high school, it also means that he al it also meant, I guess to him, it, they graduated out of the powers, which he felt was ridiculous. In fact, Lynn Carr kind of brings out the fact that this show could have explored more deeper issues and seen how they could adapt to the real world. But here's another sign of the fact that you knew things were, things were that the cast was going to change. Here's another sign. Throughout the series, we find out that Cassie wants to, is auditioning, not Cassie, but Cat is auditioning for a ballet school you know that's in London and she ends up getting accepted and we also find out that Tanya wants to do a singing career well now she's got that opportunity the only other character the only character that probably feels as though the only character that feels as though he should have stayed on and wish he would have stayed on is Adam and we find that out in the next season but it's because of this that I guess the rain, the series was able to continue on to the next season because the ratings did increase. The ratings did increase, and it's through this as well that not only did they, it's through this as well that they get end up getting that the new Rangers end up getting a new Zords and all that in the rescue Zords, and of course they start allying themselves with a new I guess you could say six Ranger in the Phantom Ranger. Oh, and we also have the Blue Centurion. Uh, debut in this season as well, but he debuted thankfully, I guess to I guess to some, with the cast from Zio. 
Oh, well, not in Zeo, but with a majority of the cast from Zeo. And we all, and it's in this, it's in Turbo overall that we find out about the Galactic Alliance. Basically, the Galactic Alliance, not the Galactic Alliance, but uh, the uni the the Galactic Evil. Uh, well, you get United Alliance of Evil. Yeah, the United Alliance of Evil. We end up finding out about them and about an event that will occur within time, or within a short time, that, you know, is very serious. Now, Divatox, who is the main villain in, the, in, the, in Turbo, doesn't like what she sees when she sees the message herself, and wants to do everything she can to prevent it from happening. And, of course, she ends up targeting Ashley and Carlos, because apparently they have something to do with the message. Well, of course they do, since they're now Power Rangers. But anyway, as the season rolls on and everything, we're introduced to another character called General Ventix, I guess you could say, who is Divatox's brother. And he, uh, and to a lot of people, including Linkara, he should have taken over as the primary villain because he was more calculating, more cold, and didn't whine and bitch and complain when he lost. And he was able to steal the Tobro Megazord. But he didn't stay around and we got and we went and we went back to having Divatox. And apparently it is Divatox that ends up defeating the Rangers and destroying the power chamber. After we find out in the two-part finale into space or chase into space that Zordon has been captured or is being ca that Zordon's home world, of, home world of Eltar is under attack uh, and has been captured. Now of course Divatox revels in the fact that she's not only defeated the Rangers and destroyed uh, in a, Rangers and in her mind destroyed them but with them, but she's so happy and enthusiastic that when a big old head of fire, and I don't, it looks like somebody I might recognize, I'm not sure, but a big head of fire appears, sort of a messenger, if you will, saying that she has been summoned to the United Alliance of e to a meeting of the United Alliance of Evil. Diva talks at first is like, oh, I don't want to go. Tell the United Alliance I don't need to go. I don't need this, blah, blah, blah. She tries to blow it off until she finds out Doc Spectre, who I guess is the leader, who is the mastermind behind everything, says, you are being summoned by him to show up. And that's only when she's like, oh, okay, I'll show up. So, that's what happens. She ends up going into space, and the Rangers have to go there as well. Which is kind of a, which some people might have found kind of weird at the end of Chase and Despair, at the end of Turbo, because the people in charge of NASADA, which is the Na which is the Power Ranger version of NASA, are almost too willing to let the Rangers use their um, their shuttle. But we find out more about this in space. Uh, now, overall, Turbo basically it was an okay series, but. To many, it wasn't really that good, and was the near death nail in the coffin for Turbo. I mean, in the, for power for the Power Ranger franchise. Period. It was basically the near death nail. But with the changing of the cast, as the ratings improved, I guess you know slightly enough to continue on to one more season. Now, fans, they didn't. Now, fans like Linkara and many others didn't really like Turbo that much. One, they had it was because one, they had no idea why they even needed to become the Turbo Rangers. I mean, to many, including Linkara, and if he's going to listen to this, I'm pretty sure he would agree. If the Zeo powers were supposed to increase, why didn't they just use that next season, which became Turbo, to increase the Zeo powers? Why didn't they do that? <laughs> well, again, it's all about moving forward. It's all about evolving, and I guess to them. Even though Divatox could have been easily defeated by the Zeo Rangers, many fans feel as though the best thing to do, well, I guess the producers felt the best thing to do is if they're going to do a second movie, is might as well introduce the powers of Turbo into the as well.
Now, another thing that some fans found kind of disappointing with this is the fact that instead of having, you know, a multi-arc uh, storyline or having some kind of episode and some filler episodes that kind of establish who the new Rangers are going to be, instead we get one episode which introduced Carlos.